Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to do a full comparison between the Xiaomi Mi Max 3 and the Honor 8X Max. This video is probably going to be on the longer side, so we'll have links or time codes in the description down below if you want to jump around in the video. But today we're going to cover the price and specs and kind of tour the outside of the devices, the camera, the Android skins, the performance, the screens and notches on the case of the 8X Max, battery performance, the audio and speaker quality, and my final thoughts and a conclusion wrap up where I will be crowning a winner. So jumping right into the price and specs of the phones. The Honor 8X Max is a little bit cheaper coming in around 250 bucks for the base model depending on where you get it. Whereas the Mi Max 3 is closer to 300 bucks for the base model again depending on where you get it. Now specs wise both phones on the base models are rocking 4 gigs of RAM 64 gigs of storage with an SD card slot, and they both have a Snapdragon 636. Now the camera specs I'm not going to dive into because these are budget phones. I really don't care about the specs. I'm not expecting them to blow me away. I just want a good performance as far as the cameras are concerned. Now touring the outsides of the phones, you can see here on the bottom, you got bottom firing speakers on both of these. You've got two grills on the Max 3 versus one on the 8X Max. Headphone jack on the bottom for the 8X Max. But look here in the middle, the Mi Max 3, we've got USB Type-C, but we have micro USB on the 8X Max, one of the ways that they cut costs there. On the top, on the 8X Max, just got a noise-canceling mic. Mi Max 3 also have some noise-canceling mics, but we also have our headphone jack. And then on both these phones, all the buttons are there on the right side, which I actually prefer. Uh, on the back, rear-mounted fingerprint scanners, dual cameras on both phones. Uh, obviously a metal back versus glass. Now the fingerprint scanners themselves as far as how accurate they are, I haven't had any issues with either. Both have been pretty accurate. I will say the Mi Max 3 though has been quicker. The 8X Max hasn't been as fast as other Honor phones that I've had, like the uh, Mate 10, which is one of their flagships, or Huawei, excuse me. But on the Mi Max 3, this fingerprint sensor feels just as fast and accurate as my Mi Mix 2S, which again is one of their flagship phones. So we mentioned the camera humps on the back, let's jump into camera performance. Now if you saw my 8X Max review, um, the camera performance is one of the weak spots on this phone in my opinion. Um, I took just a couple of pictures of both phones and the reason I only took a couple pictures is more of a out of principle thing for me and that's because you're looking at this video on a screen, right? I'm showing you a picture through a, a camera that's being displayed on another phone screen. I mean, the quality is not going to be, you're not going to see what it really is. Even if I showed you on a computer and switched to a screen recording on my computer, you're still watching it through another screen, you're not going to get a great representation of the picture quality, and you're also not there to see what it looks like in real life. So, a couple pictures here. Here is the 8X Max. This is just my fireplace. As you zoom in, you can really see, I mean, even if you don't zoom in, zooming in just kind of brings your attention to it. Uh, color accuracy is pretty good. It was more of a darker scene. Um, this tried to compensate for that and blew it out a little bit light wise uh, and then a lot of the detail is lost. Over here on the Mi Max 3 though you see again tried to compensate blew the scene out a little bit. Um, in my opinion the colors look more accurate on the Mi Max 3 and you have a little bit better detail. Now jumping over to uh, this will be a picture of my dining room. Now all the lights were off in my dining room you just got some light shining in there from the kitchen as you see on the left side. Pull it a little bit further back so you can see it. Um, not great in low light performance. Now, I, I was a little disappointed here on the Honor because if you guys have seen Huawei's recent devices, in dark scenes, the cameras perform stellar. They really light up the scene and they do a great job of capturing the image. Not so here, super grainy, I mean, when you don't even zoom in you can see it. It's just a bad picture. I stood there and tried to focus and took a couple, but didn't really have any luck. Now, over here on the Mi Max 3, same deal, try to zoom in just as far to keep this fight fair. Um, I think it did a little bit better, it's a little bit less grainy, but neither of these pictures are good enough to post or send anybody, or if I was outside in the dark, you know, I wouldn't be thrilled about it personally. Um, now with the cameras themselves, I'm gonna jump into those. If I can jump into this camera here. I showed this again in my 8X Max 4 review. If I just start moving my hand around, hopefully the camera's capturing this well. Just super laggy, you know, if you're trying to capture something quickly. And then the shutter speed itself, it'll probably do fine right now. 
but it's it's not it's not great. Maybe that's nitpicky, but shutter speed feels a little bit slow. Over here on the Max 3, this is the same thing. Kind of move my hand back and forth, see how well the camera keeps up. It feels like it's doing a much better job on the Mi Max 3. Again, this is kind of anecdotal, maybe. And the shutter speed does feel faster. Again, take that for what it's worth. It could just be me. Um, I'm completely open to that being a, a possibility. Now, as far as camera performance on something that's not one of these phones, to try and give you guys an idea, let me navigate to it here. Jump into my recents. Um, I download. Take this also with a grain of salt. I downloaded this picture. I basically sent it to myself from my Mi Mix 2S. Sent it over email, so hopefully the quality is kind of preserved. But here's that same picture again. Blew it out a little bit light-wise, um, really lit up the background, but the detail, there's a lot more detail there. Jumping over to that dark scene, again, grainy, not a great picture, but not nearly as grainy as on the other two phones. And the Mi Mix 2S is a pretty solid camera. Um, if you guys are familiar with the DxO Mark at all, the Mi Mix 2S performed about as well as the iPhone 10 last year. So, I mean, the iPhones are known for having good cameras. You know, say what you will about iPhones themselves, but they've got pretty solid cameras, so the Mi Mix 2S camera is no slouch. Um, perform better than both of these phones, but that's kind of what you'd expect because it's three times the price. So when it comes to cameras, i got to give the W2 the Mi Max 3, and I didn't say anything about the price and specs, but i got to give the W2 the 8X Max because it is cheaper for the same specs, but we'll circle back to all this at the end here. Android skin. Now again, dive into the full reviews of these phones to see more in-depth stuff on the skin. We've got EMUI on the Honor, and we've got uh, MIUI on the Xiaomi, which is what you'd expect. Now, I'm going to be a little bit biased here, but these are my two favorite Android skins. Uh, Huawei skin is number two, and Xiaomi's is number one as far as my favorite Android skins. This is completely subjective, obviously, as far as your preference for both of these skins, but Xiaomi's feels a lot more optimized, a lot better optimized. Um, I like this test because I feel like it highlights what I've been seeing in my day-to-day -day usage with both of these phones. Um, I think Twitter was in the cache there, so take it launching faster with a grain of salt. If we go all the way to the top on both of these phones on Twitter, and we just start scrolling, you'll see here over on the 8X Max, it's kind of lagging a little bit, stuttering, and now we'll do it on the Mi Max 3. Much smoother. A little bit of stutter here and there where it's loading video, but as a whole, the Mi Max 3 does feel much smoother, or more smooth, whatever. Day-to-day um, -day performance, Max 3 just feels way smoother. And I think a lot of that is the skin optimization since they're both running the same hardware. Um, as far as which one you prefer, it's gonna come down to personal preference. I'll link the full review to both of these in the description down below, because if I dive into the UI, let's make this video even longer than it's already going to be. So, performance on both of these phones. I hinted at it there with the Android skin. This one is no contest. The Mi Max 3 wins. Easy. I mean, like I said guys, it's not even close. The Mi Max 3 just wins out. Now, if you're going to use these phones for gaming, doing something like PUBG, they both are going to do well. I didn't have an issue with either phone. They both had just, I think, one stutter in an hour of playing PUBG on each. But that could have been due to you know, my network connection. They were on Wi-Fi, um, 500 megabit per second Wi-Fi network, but it could have been due to Wi-Fi. could have been due to the chips on the phones. If there's so many variables there, I don't know. But day-to-day -day performance, the Max 3 runs much smoother, so I've got to give that the edge of performance. And again, it's really not close. The best way I can describe it to you guys, because I know you guys haven't had these phones using them like I have, the 8X Max feels like it's a $250 phone. Now these are my two first budget phones I've bought in a long time. I've just had flagships, Mi Mix 2S before that, uh, Huawei Mate 10. Before that I was on iOS for a little while, and then I had you know the, the Galaxy Notes. You get the idea, flagships. This feels like it's a $200 phone. It truly does. Whereas over here on the Max 3, it doesn't. It, it just feels like it's a, you know, a, a good Android phone. It doesn't feel like it's only 250, 300 bucks. So that's the best way I can put it there. Um, moving on to the screen and the notch. As you can see on the Honor uh, 8X Max, I do have the notch hidden there at the top. 
it's just, you know, I hate the notch, personally. Um, swiping down there from the top, you can see the notch is still there, and it stuttered a little bit to try to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, but you can turn it off, and when you turn it off, it moves all the icons up in that notch space, makes the screen real estate usable, so I don't mind it. And, you know, I really don't because the notch is so small, and I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. You know, everything can be pushed up, got plenty of room to display on my notifications, doesn't bug me, makes the bezel the same size top and bottom. Really, really good job of uh, Huawei there with hiding the notch. The only thing I'll say is, and I don't know if I can get this on camera, right underneath the, the front facing camera, there's a little bit of black space. So the notch is a little bit bigger than I think it needs to be, but again, minor gripe. I'm just not a fan of the notch as a whole on principle. So yeah. Now, as far as the screen quality, for both of these phones is concerned, it's really close. I think the Max 3 looks a little bit better. So, again, very subjective. And again, same thing with the pictures. You guys are looking at the screens of these phones through a camera lens on your screen, whether it's a computer, phone, tablet, whatever. So you're not gonna get a great, a great representation. They're both IPS screens, neither one is OLED. I like the Max 3 a little bit better, but they're both just fine. And I said this in my 8X Max review, and I'll say it in the Mi Max 3 review as well. When it comes to screens, yeah, they're not OLED. So when they're right next to an OLED screen, you're gonna notice. But when this is the only thing that you've got around, you know, when this is the phone that you pull out of your pocket, you're not really gonna care. You know, I mean, is it, could the colors be more vivid? Yeah, absolutely. And you can probably see a little difference just between these two even on camera. But when it's the only phone you're using, the only screen you have around, both of them, both of them are absolutely fine. I don't have an issue with either one. The only complaint is the notch on the 8X Max, and because of the notch and just out of principle, I've got to give the, the uh, win to the Mi Max 3. Battery life. Now, we got a 5,500 milliamp hour battery here, 5,000 over here. That's something I didn't mention in the price and specs. But it doesn't really matter with these two. At least not nearly as much as I thought it would. Now, the Mi Max 3 have been getting better battery life, but it hasn't been significant like I thought it would be. And here's the main reason for that. I'm going to jump into the settings here and show you guys why that is. So we've got a battery, and both of these phones have been on standby for over a day. That's no exaggeration, and that's not an accident. I left them on standby for over a day. Now, if we go into battery usage, and I apologize if this is kind of janky. I'm trying to do it from behind the camera. And hardware. All right. So cell standby, 29 hours, 20 minutes. And over here, it's not gonna tell me, so I have to go into phone idle. One day, five hours, 21 minutes. So they've both been on standby for over a day, and I haven't been using either of them, except for, you know, this video. Now, if you can see their top right, 95% remaining. And I have always on display on this one on the right, on the uh, Xiaomi. So I do have a little bit more screen on time, 24 minutes. Again, just trying to be fair and as transparent as I possibly can be with both of these phones. And over here, 22 minutes, but we're at 90%. So, a little bit more screen on time, by a couple minutes, you know, whatever. But, we only lost 5% of battery drain in over a day of standby. Plus, you know, it being on this video. And we lost 10% on the Mi Max 3. So because of that, if you're only going to charge these phones once every day and a half to two days, it's going to be really close. It is. I mean, this is a pretty close contest. i got to give the edge to the Max 3 because the battery is a little bit bigger. And because you're actually going to be using these phones and not using them on standby, the Max 3 is going to win out in the end. But they're very, very close. And, you know, as much as I've complained about the performance on the 8X Max, hat tip to Huawei for making their standby drain so stellar. And neither one of these have had my SIM card in it either during the standby time, again, to try to be as transparent as I possibly can, as fair as I possibly can between these phones to see what the standby drain is like. Now, audio and speakers. Both of these phones have a headphone jack. One's on the top, one's on the bottom. I don't care if it's on the top or bottom. I just want to have it there. And um, the speakers, they both have stereo speakers. We have the little speaker grill up here coming through the earpiece as well as the rear firing on the Max 3. And over here, again, rear firing on the 8X Max, but there at the top, we got a pretty, pretty big speaker grill 
holding off camera, sorry about that, but you can see a pretty big speaker grill there at the top. So when you're watching content back, the 8X Max wins. And if that wasn't enough, again, I showed this in my video. This has a Dolby Atmos. I'll just search here for Dolby. I'm gonna grab this off camera so it's a little bit easier to, uh, to search. So there we go, Dolby Atmos. And this is a, a big feature on the Galaxy Note 9. I don't know if you guys saw that advertising, but they were touting this as a big feature. Here it is on a $250 phone. I typically leave it on smart. It does just fine, sounds great. So if you want a phone with killer speakers, this is an easy win for the 8X Max. All right, my bad guys, there's a couple things I forgot to mention with both of these phones. On the 8X Max, you guys may or may not know this by now, Huawei phones are known for having an auto screen dimming problem. Now what that basically means is you can set the, you have the brightness on manual, so you set it to some value, it doesn't matter, it's just a manual brightness, and the phone will dim automatically, and the screen will dim automatically. I haven't noticed that on the 8X Max yet. I'm not saying it's not there, I'm just saying I haven't noticed it yet. Now over on the Mi Max 3, the software does have ads, and that's just, uh, whose idea was that? I mean, come on. Now, MIUI is known for being community driven. What that means is on the forums and things like that, customers like you and me post features that we want to see in the next iteration of MIUI, and Xiaomi delivers those features. So I am hopeful to get rid of the ads moving forward, but as of today, they're there, so I do have to mention it. Now, my final thoughts and conclusion. Price and specs, that's a win for the 8X Max because they have the same specs, but the 8X Max is a little bit cheaper. Camera. Easy win for the Mi Max 3. Neither camera is stellar. The Mi Max 3 camera is good. The 8X Max camera is garbage. It's one of the weak points of the phone, in my opinion. Performance. That's going to go to the Mi Max 3 pretty easily. Again, performance is not one of the strong points of the 8X Max. Android skin, full transparency. Mi UI is my favorite Android skin that's, that I've currently used. So that's a win for the Mi Max 3, despite having the ad, but. Uh, EMUI, which is the skin on Huawei and Honor devices, that's my second favorite Android skin, so it's a close battle, but Mi Max 3 wins out. Screen and notch, I would call these equal, but the 8X Max has a notch, out of principle, I've got to ding it for that because I think the notch is a stupid trend, so the Mi Max 3 wins there. Battery, again, another very close one. The Mi Max 3 would win in battery as far as actual usage, but with the standby time, the Honor 8X Max does make a nice little comeback, but in the end, it's got to go to the phone with the bigger battery and slightly better battery performance, the Mi Max 3. Audio and speakers, like I showed you guys, both phones have a headphone jack, but the 8X Max has that huge speaker grill there at the top, and ultimately helps to get the W in the audio and speaker performance. What this can be summed up as between these two phones, they're both massive, they both have really strong batteries, is Honor or Huawei undercut the Mi Max 3 in price, but at what cost? I mean, you have a notch, which again, out of principle, I just don't like, I think it's a dumb trend. Maybe you don't, that's fine, super subjective, I understand. USB type C on the bottom instead of, U I'm sorry, micro USB instead of USB-C on the bottom. Again, cut costs. Uh, and the camera performance, just very lackluster camera performance on the 8X Max. If you don't care about those things, you just want the phone to stream, uh, stream YouTube content or movies and game, 8X Max is a pretty solid option. The only caveat is with the notch, I will say games like uh, PUBG did not, did not do a good job of cutting off right there. The game went all the way through the notch. It wasn't a problem for me, just you know, something to note. It didn't bother me at all, despite me not liking the notch. Just wanted to make that clear. If you want a big phablet, it's gonna be a tank on the battery and perform really smooth day to day, Mi Max 3. The Mi Max 3 is my overall winner. The 8X Max is a couple of specialized areas where it wins, but you know, battery, performance, camera, headphone jack, fast charging, just, the Max 3 just wins. Great phone for the money. If you're looking for a big screen phone and you're at $300 price range, it's, it's the Mi Max 3 pretty easily for me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, full reviews for both of these phones will be linked in the description down below if you want to watch those. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if there's another phone you want to see me review, leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'm